Brett Anderson, Editor-in-Chief of the Rob Report aboard the Sunseeker 50 San Remo here in Port Washington. Nice to see you and talk to you about yachting. Nice to see you too, Rhonda. It's better than sitting in your office. It is it? much better than being in the office, isn't it? So you have done a lot of work actually on the yachting industry and what that means for a, a customer who likes a high-end lifestyle. What are some of the trends that you're seeing right now and reporting on in the yachting industry? Well, interestingly, we cover primarily the super yacht category, which is 100 feet and above, but we cover a full range of, of crafts such as the one we're on here today. Um, the market has been quite strong. I mean, for the very largest yachts, 250 feet and above, last year was a record year. So the market is strong. I think the differences that we're seeing now versus uh, 10 years ago is more of a focus on adventure versus ultimate luxury. People want to take their uh, craft to places where they're having an adventure, whether it's, you know, up, you know, north toward the Arctic or, you know, south to the Galapagos. Uh, it's much more about destination adventure in, the, in terms of the ways in which they're using the boats versus having a floating hotel. Although, uh, though of course, they always want the amenities. That's a big part of, of owning a yacht. And when you look at these super yachts in terms of sizing, what are we talking about in the marketplace in terms of value and what people are paying for? Well, the average price right now of a super yacht is just over 10 million US. So that's an average price, and obviously they can go wherever you want them to go. Lurson right now is building a 512-foot yacht for one of its repeat clients, so they can get quite large. And, and who are the clients? Are they primarily American, or are they from all over the world? Right now, at least based on you know, the current uh, market numbers, the U.S. is the leading market, uh, followed by the U.K., Italy, Australia, and then Russia. Why do you think we saw a record year in super yachting? I think it's the adventure part of it. I think it's a way of you know having an experience that's uniquely your own. You're not going to a hotel and and having their experience. Although there's some wonderful hotels that you know cater to uh, different clientele. So I think that's a big part of it. Um, I think they're also you're also seeing, and this is something interesting, more and more younger consumers getting into the yachting space, primarily through charter. Uh, versus ownership, but uh, they're seeing it as something to explore, something that they haven't done, and that does provide you with a unique experience for anyone who's been on a yacht voyage. It's an, ex it's an extraordinary experience. There's nothing quite like it. 